Hey friends, how are you? Happy new moon, solar eclipse, and Sagittarius. For the last several lunar cycles, I've been sharing new moon uh, dream mantras for you to use with this upcoming and new lunar cycle that we enter into each new moon. And I also share a little dream oracle message that goes along with the mantra. So for those of you who are new, essentially what this is, they are messages that I receive from spirit while asleep in the dream world. And I've intentionally gone in and asked spirit to share what does the collective need to know right now for this lunar cycle and what are the energies that are really available to us right now and really not that they're not always available to us, but like what can we really tap into right now? And so that's what these little lunar cycle mantras are for. And so they are something that you can use, a mantra that you can use when you go to sleep each night to set the intention before you go to bed to really nourish your sleep and really get the most out of your sleep and help you tune into these energies, whether you remember your dreams or not. And there's something that you can use uh, throughout the day and for this whole lunar cycle or until you kind of feel complete with this. So it's really up to you, feel into what you're intuitively guided to do and go from there. So the messages that have been really strong this past few days for what they wanted me to share with you are really around like this idea of like hibernating and going in and resting and rejuvenating. I mean, it has been a doozy of a year and I think we can all agree that some rest right now would be really rejuvenating and I know we're moving right into um, what's normally a busy holiday season and this year with coronavirus and everything, it's likely not going to be as busy or hectic. And that's actually a really good thing because we are being asked to go inward and really connect in with our higher selves, reflect on this past year and rejuvenate and nourish ourselves. I think that for many of us, myself included, um, I haven't taken the time that I need to nourish myself and do that self-care that I normally do and have that balance in my life. And so spirit is really reminding us that we need to do this. It is so, so important for us and helps us tune in and tap into our higher selves. And when we do that, we step into more flow, more magic, more abundance. And in this day and age, sometimes it's really easy to not take the time for ourselves. And we are just really being called. Use this lunar cycle as we wrap up 2020 and step into 2021 to take time for you. Do what you need to do you. You know, maybe there's some commitments that you've made that are making you feel a little overwhelmed. And I'm saying this because I've done this. And so like this message really resonates with me and um, my life as well. And it's like, maybe I need to revisit some of those commitments and um, adjust them so they can be more supportive so I can take on that time that I need to rest and rejuvenate and reflect. So reflect on, you know, how was 2020 for you? Where were some big wins? Like celebrate those wins and feel into the wins that you've had and how you've overcome certain challenges that, you know, when you were faced with them in the beginning, you may not have known how you were going to get through them, but you did. And so feel good about the growth that you've had and reflect on the growth that you've had and feel into, you know, maybe where is it that you want to embody yourself more in 2021? So really take this time to go inward and hibernate and feel into um, what you need right now. So the mantra is, I honor and prioritize my needs for rest, rejuvenation, and self-care. I'm going to write it below this video so you can, you can jot that down. Put it on a post-it note. Put it somewhere where you'll see it throughout your day 
or on your bedside table and just have it there to help you remind you and set the intention before you go to sleep each night that these are the energies that you want to tap into whether like i said whether you remember your dreams or not it's okay just focus on this mantra you can use it throughout the day and or you can also use it at night as a dream mantra when you go to sleep and i'll repeat it again i honor and prioritize my needs for rest rejuvenation and self-reflection and so yeah i wanted to share that with you use it for this upcoming lunar cycle let me know if you have any questions let me know if this resonates with you if like hearing this you're thinking like oh my gosh yes i just needed permission to do this because like i've been wanting to take some time for self-care and self-nourishment and um hopefully this will give you the permission that you maybe have felt you needed to just take that time you know in this day and age unfortunately society tells us the opposite and tells us to hustle and like keep pushing ourselves and go 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 and it's not the time to do that we need to start telling ourselves different stories on what is supportive in our life what success means and how we need to shift the ways that we take care of ourselves so that is all I have for you today and sending you so much love and magic and ease and rest and nourishment and happy holidays and of course as always awakening dreams so if you have questions let me know and otherwise yeah I will chat with all of you soon bye